Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the three important licensing models we have in Citrix. The first one is user license and the second one is device license and the third one is concurrent license which is the most famous one and many of the customers prefer using concurrent licensing model. So what is the key difference between th these three licensing models? Okay, the first one is user license. Let's say there is a user called John, okay, and uh, he has five, de five devices, five devices at home, and he likes to connect from different devices. So what a user license does is, for a single user, he, you know, a user, it, 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 it's a license which is assigned based upon the user. So this user, no matter how many devices he uses to connect to the Citrix environment he can connect without any issues okay this is user license he, it's a single user unlimited devices it's user license and the second one is uh, device license okay which is as name says it's one single device so let's say there is one device you know where uh, uh, you know multiple users many users can connect from the same device and a license would be applied for that particular device so this is called uh, device license so it's a single device unlimited uh, users can access from the same device okay so this is also uh, a famous one and the third one is the concurrent license which is the most preferred uh, licensing model by many customers so let's say for example uh, in concurrent licensing model let's say there is an organization that has uh, uh, thousand employees okay let's say for example there is an organization that has thousand employees and uh, only 200 to 300 people are active with you know in the citrix environment and they would like to use citrix applications so in this scenario uh, what we can do is we can purchase 300 concurrent licenses okay so because only you know 250 to 300 users are active out of 1000 employees so we can buy concurrent licenses so what happens is uh, whenever a user tries to access citrix applications a license would be checked out from the license server okay and the user would use it and once the user terminates or once the user log user logs off uh, from that citrix session the license would come back into the pool Okay, so it's basically it's a pool of licenses. People can just check in. People can just use the application, use the license, and once the job is done, they can sign off, and the license would come back to the pool. So, so it helps to you know it helps it it it, it saves a lot of uh, you know uh, licenses in any organization in, in any organization because only uh, some employees are active out of you know 800 or thousand. So. Uh, this is a very special licensing model that most of the customers like to use because it is based upon the activity it is based upon uh, the requirement if someone is asking for a license license would be checked out someone wants to uh, so once the job is done so if a user wants to sign off that the license would come back to the pool again so it's like check in check out check in check out okay we can say it's a pool of licenses it's not based upon device it's not based upon user it based it is based upon the requirement in the citrix environment okay so it is concurrent licensing is basically uh, one user and uh, a user can just access to the application virtual desktops or applications and once the job is done the user can sign off okay so I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Thank you.